Hey everybody, this is Steve at the Guru Brew. Today I'm going to teach you how to control startup items in Microsoft Windows. Startup items are those items that come across near the clock on the bottom right hand side that fill up as we're loading Windows uh, as we turn the power on. And these programs um, run in the background and take up resources that may or may not be a good thing. Um, if you're experiencing slow computers, if you've got a whole bunch of icons on the bottom down there, this could be a sign that a lot of the programs that you installed are begging for attention and are set to automatically start up when those windows starts. You can turn those programs off, it won't hurt a thing. Uh, a lot of manufacturers of the software like startup programs to come up and like to be first and like to be in line. The only uh, ones that you cannot turn off are some of the printer and scanner routines uh, need to run in the background otherwise when you go to use the printer they won't work correctly. Other than that there's just a few of the Windows applications that must run in the background all the time and the rest can all be shut off to save your resources. Let's go through this. It's a very easy thing that you can do and it takes no time at all and it can save you some system resources. So let's get started. I'm showing you on an XP computer but Windows 7 is very much the same as well as the commands. You just go to the start menu if you're using Windows 7, you can just type in the little box down here, msconfig. If you're using an XP, you can just go into the run command. Either way, the command is msconfig. Okay. Um, you'll be presented with about five or six different tabs here. I always come to the startup tab, which is the second to the uh, last one on the right hand side, right up here. And if you look down through here, you will see a bunch of uh, little check boxes, and then um, each one should be checked unless you've been in here before. And if it's checked, it means that it's going to launch when Windows starts. So you can see just from mine that uh, there must be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's got to be uh, 15 items here that are going to start up when Windows starts. And this doesn't include the services, which is the tab here. We'll talk about services in a minute. For now, we're going to talk about startup items, which are right here. Now, if you go down through this list, it's a little bit of detective work to figure out what is what here and what you should turn on and turn off. There is a disable uh, switch here that you can click that will take the check mark out of all these. Or there's an enable box that can turn them all back on. What I like to do when I'm going through here is to be a little bit of, of a def, uh, tech detective. Uh, to look at the location and find out uh, where the call is coming from as well as the command. And the command is probably the most useful to figure out what exactly is going on. If you grab this little middle section here and you open up your command, you can often see more since you cannot resize this window. Uh, I like to see exactly where the program file is located. For instance, this third one down here, it says um, Intuit Sync. I know that Intuit is a QuickBooks program and that's something that I would like to keep on because I do use QuickBooks on this computer. So that gives you a little bit of a uh, idea of where it's coming from. Now on this uh, one, two, three, fourth one down here, it says Java, Java Update. Well, Java will work just fine once it's called. This is just something that goes out there and it checks to make sure that I have the current version of Java. If you want to keep it, I prefer not to use it because I know that Java is going to check itself every time Java is used anyway. So I could check that one off. Let's try another one. Uh, this one's coming from the program file, Pinnacle. Um, so I know that I uh, installed a Pinnacle um, a video editor uh, program 
and this is something that no I do not want it running unless I launch Pinnacle uh, Studio program so I am going to turn that off you can go on through here uh, you just have to use your discretion I would say if you don't know what it does maybe you should touch it on the other hand if you do touch it there's gonna be no harm one of the programs may just not work then you'll have to go back in the same way that you came in now and then uh, go ahead and uh, uh, set it back up so it's just this simple of clicking uh, items that you would and wouldn't like to run um, like this one here I uh, see it at the bottom uh, it's a QuickBooks update agent I know QuickBooks is going to ask me for an update every time I launch it anyway so no I do not want this running in the system tray so I could click that off the more of these uh, startup items that you uncheck uh, the uh, the more system resources are going to be available to you when you start up um, this is a Windows XP machine but Windows 7 works a lot the same if you come down here by the clock and you click this little thing here you can see all the little things that are running down at the bottom and you can hover over them and you can find out which ones are running uh, not all, not everything that's in this list is going to show up down here though so this is a great place to come and make sure that you're uh, running only the items that you would like uh, once you're finished um, you can click apply close and then the computer is going to ask you to restart um, I would recommend that you go ahead and restart right away and see how the uh, computer acts. It should act just fine and should, you should uh, expect a little more speed out of the machine just from doing these simple procedures. There's one more tab that I would like to show you um, that is related to the startup and this is called services. Uh, you could go back into your program run uh, MS config the same place the same way we got to this place. It's a uh, it's a tab to, to the startups left and you can go down and look down through here and find the status and it's either stopped or it's running or it could be even paused you can find out what the service is and the same procedure with the startup uh, items if there's something in here that you do not want to have running when you start up the program uh, you can simply disable it or you, uh, another good feature is you can hide all the Microsoft services. This way you'll be sure that your computer will still start up. By clicking this button, it hides all the Microsoft services and leaves you with just the services uh, that are not Microsoft. And uh, you should look um, like this Forceware web interface. I really don't know what that is. It's not shown as a manufacturer and it is running it may have something to do with the um, application that I'm using to bring you this video so I don't want to shut it off right now because then it will stop my video but I just wanted you to be aware of this tab as well in the services um, manual here here's something here it's an NVIDIA driver helper uh, it's by NVIDIA and uh, there's two or three different NVIDIA's here and it's not necessarily going to make the card stop working but you have to play around with it to see exactly what it is you can also google uh, these service names and get more information about it and maybe that would be a, serv um, a sure way to do it other than just disabling it and finding out the hard way so uh, by following these procedures you can make your computer a little bit faster and uh, it should help you out a lot so MS config is the command that you would use in the command line or in the search box on a, a Windows 7 machine I hope you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and we'll see you next time thanks for watching hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya